So today we're doing a demonstration cut on a bathtub. I have several customers actually doing the same application. The idea is this is a partially finished bathtub, just like you might have at home. It's an insert. Um, can't see it from your side, but on the back side here, there are four foam feet that you to support the bathtub on the floor or slab of your house. Here, you might be able to see it right here. On um, this front here is the front face, what you would see if this was installed in your home. The idea is to cut horizontally level this front face or skirt of the tub and these feet. So when you sit it down on the floor of your house or the remodelers or whoever, it all sits nice and square and you have a flush line here and doesn't wobble or do wacky things. I have several customers doing the same application, but I've never actually before now cut these myself. So we're in a bit of a learning process here. I have a potential new customer who wants to get into this. Um, so the machine I have to work with is a Model 480i. I have other videos giving all the details on this machine. The short version is, we have a horizontal blade bandsaw cutting in a horizontal plane. You can move the blade up and down on this machine. That's manual, you turn a crank, have a little electronic readout, shows you how high it is. We have a traveling table, it goes back and forth. It is powered with a variable speed drive. So you put the workpiece on the table, hit the appropriate buttons on the control panel, and the saw makes the cut for you. What I'm doing today is finding out how fast I can run the table, that is run the workpiece into the blade and still get a good quality cut. Um, I've done a little improvisation here. This is actually a used machine. I sold it new in 2016, I believe. The customer used it for five, six years. Their business changed direction. They didn't need any more, so I bought it back. Um, it's in actually pretty good shape. But one thing we did find is that the table here is a bit banana. -ed. It got bent up somewhere, either in, when they were using it or on the uh, return trip on the truck back here. To level everything out, we put a piece of foam on the table and just ran the foam through with a bandsaw blade and cut about a half inch off. So I know the surface of this foam is running true. The customer's asked me to cut <clears throat> on this line. I'm not gonna do that, not yet. What I'm gonna do is I've actually set the blade up to cut about three quarters of an inch above this line. I'm gonna use that to dial in how fast I can get away with cutting this stuff. And then I'll drop down and make the final cut on the uh, target height here. So controls over here, this machine has oh, a little bit of information about the blade. Blade speed is about 3000 feet per minute. The blade I'm using is a one inch wide, 10 tooth per inch, hook tooth style blade. I'm tensioning it at about 18,000 PSI. This machine has pneumatic blade tension, gives very good control over the blade tension. It also has blade breakage detector, low air pressure switch, lots of other good stuff. So what I will do is I'm gonna start the saw blade motor. I'm gonna turn the forward speed control to zero. Then I'm gonna start the table. Then I'm gonna increase the forward speed control. I believe I can cut this at least one inch per second. This machine is set up to cut from zero table speed from zero to two inches per second. With some software changes, I can bump that up to three inches per second. With hardware changes, I can go even faster than that. One to two inches per second is probably in the correct range for this. If you try to push the workpiece into the blade faster than the blade wants to cut it, the blade will start to deflect, then it'll go up and down and basically just don't get a straight cut. So enough sales talk, more cutting. Start the saw. Table forward speed is zero. Hit the table forward button. And then add some speed. Breaking into the workpiece is always the sticky part. The cutting. So I'm gonna go up to 
That is one inch per second table speed. We got room to go faster. I don't recommend you ever get that close to a bandsaw when it's running. I'm either a professional or an idiot. But I like to see how the cut's going. Give us some more. That is one and a half inches per second. No trouble at all. Let me eyeball this. See how we did. That's dead flat. That's dead flat. We got room to go faster. Sorry about the noise, folks. So I'm gonna run another, as long as I've got your attention, I'm gonna run another pass. If you're bored, hit the stop button. But I'm gonna make another pass on this. Send the table back to the home position. Normally on these machines, we have an electronic digital readout for the height of the blade. That did not survive. Um, once I know who will be buying this machine and I refurbish it and maybe modify it to their needs, I'll replace that counter. But for right now, I have a tape measure. Okay, height to that line. That is at, they marked 14 and three quarters on here with, I think what they did is they measured from this edge here up. I have the workpiece sitting here and I believe this is about an inch taller. So I'm measuring that the line is 15 and three quarter inches. So that's where I'll set my blade at, again. In production, you'll have an electronic digital readout. Make it easy to do this. Oop, overshot. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm going to I'm just gonna go ahead and get greedy. I'm gonna set my table speed to two inches per second. If I break it, I'll just delete this video. Soft start, table forward. Bandsaws are cool. So, two inches per second is a reasonable feed speed for the workpiece cutting these tubs. Um, if you have any questions or like to discuss 
this application or any other specialty bearing installing application, please feel free to call or email us here at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you.